Good day. I'm Piers Corbyn of weatheraction.com, long range weather and climate forecasters, and today is the 30th of November. And I'm going to discuss where next for climate wars. Along with climate realists, climate sense, and uh, many individuals and organisations, we had an excellent Climate Fool's Day meeting in the Houses of Parliament on the 27th of October this year. And we've produced a DVD of what took place there. We had an excellent meeting with a whole range of scientists speaking, along with Christopher Booker, a leading journalist on the Daily Telegraph. And in these presentations, we pointed out there's no scientific basis whatsoever for the theory of CO2-driven man-made climate change. We showed that the world is cooling and in all probability will continue to cool until at least 2035 when it's likely to be at the coldest average level uh, for about 200 years. And Christopher Booker explained that the climate uh, nonsense policies put forward by the uh, present government of the United Kingdom are costing the taxpayer £18 billion a year, which happens to be the same amount of money they want to cut off your welfare and wages every year. If you want to know about the DVD we have produced and how to get hold of it, please go on to weatheraction.com or Climate Realists or Climate Sense websites. And there we'll have uh, links and explanations. And <coughs> when you order this DVD, you'll also get a copy of our Weather Action Essence of Winter European Summary Forecast. Now, what's happening around the world? The United Nations Climate Organization are having yet another jamboree, this time in Cancun, in Mexico, which is a fortunate place to have it because everywhere else they might have considered is suddenly got cold and snowy, rather giving uh, uh, the lie to their absurd claims of ongoing global warming. Um, but I think we've got to actually finally get to grips with this. This jamboree, we should make it the last jamboree of these money wasters. And I would urge you to speak to your political representatives and say, look, we want to have evidence-based science and evidence-based accountable policy. And ask your politician, when are they going to give up this nonsense. Thank you.